Chapter 3 The Human Skeleton Get into Match the pictures to their functions Supports the weight of our body Protects our heart and lungs Protects our brain Protects our spinal cord Underneath our skin are lots of things that make up our body. Two of these are bones and muscles. Bones shape our body and help us to stand up straight. Muscles are attached to bones. They help us to walk, run and smile. Bones Bones are the hard and alive part of our body, which grows and changes all the time like other parts of the body. They are composed of calcium, phosphorus, and a fibrous substance known as collagen. Bones are strong, but light in weight, as they are hollow from inside. They are made up of two types of bone tissues. Compact bone. It is the solid, hard outside part of the bone. It looks like ivory, and is extremely strong. Holes and channels run through it, carrying blood vessels and nerves. Cancellous bone. It is inside compact bone and looks like a sponge. It is made up of a mesh-like network of tiny pieces of bone called trabeculae. This is where bone marrow is found. Infomine. Bone marrow is the flexible tissue in the interior of bones. In humans, blood cells are produced by bone marrow. Skeleton is the framework of bones. Although we are born with about 300 bones, the human skeleton consists of 206 bones, as many bones fuse together as we grow up. The human skeleton consists of Number one, skull. Number two, spine. Number three, rib cage. Number four, limbs. Skull. Skull protects the brain and the sense organs. It consists of a total of 22 bones. The bones in the skull are interlocked and they cannot move, except for the lower jaw. The motion of the lower jaw enables us to eat, talk, sing, and smile. Eight large and flat bones of the skull are joined to form the brain box. The upper portion of the skull, which encloses the delicate brain inside it. The remaining 14 bones fuse to form the face. Infomine. The important facial bones include the lower jaw bone, upper jaw bone, cheek bone, and the nasal bone. Spine. The spine or backbone is one of the most important parts of the skeletal system. It is attached to the skull. It holds our body upright. It lets us twist and bend our body. The spine consists of a series of 33 small ring-like bones called vertebrae, forming the vertebral column. It protects the spinal cord, a large bundle of nerves that sends information from the brain to the rest of the body. Rib cage. The bones present around the chest are called ribs. The ribs form a cage-like structure called the rib cage. Rib cage protects our heart and lungs. There are 12 pairs of ribs in our rib cage. All the 12 pairs of ribs are attached at the back to the spine. A long breastbone called sternum holds 10 pairs of the ribs in their place in the front. The remaining two pairs, which are not attached to the sternum, are called Floating ribs. Limbs. Our body has two pairs of limbs, forelimbs and hind limbs. Forelimbs are our arms. The arm is made up of two parts, upper arm and lower arm.
They are joined together at the elbow. The upper arm has one long bone. The lower arm has two bones. The upper arm is joined to the spine by the shoulder girdle. The hand has many small bones. Hind limbs are our legs. The leg is also made of two parts, the upper leg and the lower leg. They are joined together at the knee. The upper leg has the longest bone in our body, called the femur. The lower leg has two bones. The lower part of the upper body is joined to the femur by the hip girdle. The foot has many small bones. Infomine. The foot is one of the most ticklish parts of the body. Up for review. Stay true or false for the following. Bones are the hard and alive part of our body. The backbone is made up of 22 small bones. The floating ribs are joined to the sternum. The longest bone in our body is called ulna. The upper arm is joined to the spine by the hip girdle. Joints. Joints are the places where two or more bones fit together. Bones are held together by strong bands of fiber-like structures called ligaments. They control the amount of movement of bones. There are two types of joints present in our skeleton, movable and immovable. Let us read about these joints in detail. Immovable joints. The immovable joints do not allow the movement of bones. The joints of the skull, the joints between the ribcage and at the breastbone, etc., are the immovable joints. Movable joints. The movable joints provide free movement to the body as they contain a lubricating liquid. Our body has four kinds of movable joints. Number one, ball and socket joint. Number two, hinge joint. Number three, pivot joint. Number four, gliding joint. Ball and socket joint. A ball and socket joint allows movement in all directions. In this joint, the rounded end of one bone fits into the socket or hollow of another bone. Ball and socket joints are found in shoulders and hips. Hinge joint. A hinge joint allows movement only in back and forth direction. It acts just like a hinge of a door. The hinge joints are found in elbows, knees, toes, and fingers. Pivot joint. Pivot joint is where the skull meets the top vertebrae. It allows us to bend our head up, down, and sideways. Gliding joint. A gliding joint allows the bones to slide against each other in a gliding motion. It is found in the wrists, ankles, and the vertebrae of the spine. Infomine. The strongest muscle in the human body is the tongue. Muscles. Muscles are fleshy tissues which are connected to the bones by strong fibers called tendons. Our body contains more than 600 muscles. Types of muscles. Muscles are divided into two main groups, voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles. Voluntary muscles. The skeletal muscles lie between the skin and the bones. The skeletal muscles have voluntary movement. That is, skeletal muscles can move at our will. So, these are called voluntary muscles. Our arms, legs, neck, shoulders, etc. have voluntary muscles. Involuntary muscles. Muscles of some body organs such as the walls of the stomach and intestine are smooth. These muscles work on their own. So, these are called involuntary muscles. Involuntary muscles, voluntary muscles. 
involuntary muscles of our heart are called cardiac muscles. They work continuously without stopping and without getting tired. The contraction and expansion of cardiac muscles counts one heartbeat. Pull your sleeves. Let us find joints in our body. Bend your different body parts such as the head, hands, legs in different directions and observe their movement. Identify the types of joints these body parts have. Now, note down your observations on a sheet of paper. Compare your observation with the observations of your classmates. How do muscles work? Muscles work by pulling a bone. When muscles contract, they come close to each other and become shorter and thicker. When muscles relax, they go far from each other and become longer and thinner. For example, our arm movements are controlled by two muscles, biceps and triceps. Biceps contracted, triceps relaxed. Biceps relaxed, triceps contracted. Up for review. Tick the activities that have the involvement of voluntary muscles and cross out the activities that involves the movement of involuntary muscles. Number one, breathing. Number two, beating of your heart. Number three, thinking of a story. Number four, dancing to music. Number five, eating and chewing food. Number six, pushing food into the intestine. Take a look. Skeleton, skull, spine, rib cage, limbs, muscles, voluntary, arm, involuntary, stomach, cardiac, heart, movable joints, ball and socket, Shoulder, hip bone, pivot, neck, gliding, wrist, ankle, vertebrae, hinge, elbow, knee, toe, finger.